Good morning, friends, and welcome to 30 Minutes of Candy. If you feel like anything that we're doing today is a little bit too challenging, I really encourage you to uh, slow your roll, take the modification, maybe go about half the pace that I'm going. Um, and if you need a little bit more of a challenge, then please feel free to pick up your pace, go faster, add some weight. You don't even have to keep up with me, right? Like if you feel that you can handle more challenge than I'm offering, I would love for you to take that. Okay. I usually try to give an advanced version of the exercise. Um, our warm up today is going to be squat jumps and bicycles, squat jumps and bicycles. And we're going to get started with that in three, two, one. Here we go. Here's your squat jump. We get down in it and we come on up. If you need to take the jump out and just do the squat, by all means, please feel free to do that. Give me a big exhale at the top. And move those arms. They're up when you're down. They're down when you're up. We're almost there. Coming down to the mat for our bicycles. Take it on down on your back. We're going to go opposite elbow to knee. And here we go. This is your warm up bicycle. Modification if you need it. Set the feet on the floor. Crunch, set it down. Crunch, set it down. And breathe it out. Take that leg out to hover. If you're not doing the modification. Almost there. Bring it on up. We're back to our squat jumps. Oh, we'll turn to the side for you this time. We're ready. Here we go. Send those hips back. Take it up. Remember, you can go to the squat if the jump doesn't work for you. Move those arms. Ten more seconds. Keep the chest up. Almost there. Taking it down, back to our bicycles. We're ready. Let's go. Big exhale. not to pull on the head. Almost there. Bring it up. We have one more on each. Ready. Let's go. Big at the top. Move those arms. Get down low on your squat. Almost there. Bringing it on down. Last round of bicycles. We're ready. Here we go. Three times. 
We'll take a break in between each full six minute circuit, okay? First exercise of the day. We're gonna do deadlift, clean, squat. A deadlift to a clean to a squat. If you have weights. If you don't have weights, you're gonna do the uh, hip hinge and the squat without the clean, and I'll demonstrate that for you. And if you do have weights, go ahead and get them ready. Have them right in front of you for that deadlift, and then just follow along, okay? We're getting started in three, two, one, here we go. So here's your deadlift, right? Here's your clean, here's your squat. Let them down. Spread the feet out just a little bit. Deadlift, clean, squat, let them down. Deadlift, clean, squat, let them down. If you don't have any weights, you're here and here. Deadlift up, squat up, okay? The rest of us are getting that clean in too with the squat, I mean with the deadlift. Deadlift, clean it up, squat. Here's, a, here's your clean from the front. Deadlift, clean, squat. All right. Coming down to the mat, I think. Let me check on this. Let's check my boots. Yeah, we're coming down for a bear crawl. Oops. Sorry guys, give me just a second here. Little technical difficulty. Resetting the timer. And here we go. Bear crawls in three, two, one. We're in our plank position and we're moving like so. Butt is down, back is flat, head is up. If moving backward doesn't work for you, you can just move forward. And if this movement, movement is very, very difficult for you, then I recommend you go one, two, set it down, catch your breath, and then just go right back to it. Pace yourself. Do a few and rest for a moment. Do a few and then rest. That's how we get better at, at these exercises. That's how we master them. We start out small, we do what we can, and we keep at it until you can do it for that full minute, right? Bring it on up. Next up, we have a squat, I mean, I'm sorry, a reverse lunge with a kick. Reverse lunge with a kick. Already. Here we go. We're gonna step back and lunge, bring that knee up, and kick. We're gonna alternate. Oftentimes I have you guys stand on one side. Let's mix it up today. Keep a little space horizontally between the feet. And get in that 90 degree bend back there. Slow motion, lunge. Knee comes up, and then we whip it out, like so. So, it's not a straight leg up, right? It's more like a a rocket kind of kick. Exhale on that kick. Keep that chest up. Move those arms. Rest for 10. Next up, we have, ooh, we're gonna hammer, curl, and press. So grab your weights. And if you don't have any, you're doing push-ups, right? You're gonna do a wide angle push-up with an alternating chest tap. So if you don't have weights, push-up, tap, tap. Push up, tap, tap. Those of us who have weights, it's gonna be a curl, hammer curl, 
and a hammer press. Okay, well, let's go. Get a little closer to you guys. Hammer curl, hammer press. Keep those elbows in, tight to the sides. Just like so. Let's look at it from the side. Roll the shoulder blades down and back. Pelvis tucked in, knees slightly bent. I'm not letting the weights take me down like this, right? I'm not swinging them. I'm curling them. We're staying in control. We're working biceps, shoulders. Almost there. Excellent. We're bringing it down to the back. Come check. What do we have on deck here? We have a, a sit up with a twist. So I'm going to be using a dumbbell. You don't have to. Oops. Technical difficulty, guys. Let me refresh the facet seven page and get back in there. You guys go ahead and come on down to your mat with your weight if you have one. And if you don't, that's okay. And you go on back. Okay. Here we go. We are sitting up. We're reaching for the feet. We're going to lean back and we're going to twist, twist. And then we're back again. If you don't have the weight, that's okay. You're still doing the movement, right? It's a straight leg. Sit up, reach for the feet, twist, twist. When you go for that twist, Turn that torso all the way over. Don't just make it about the weight like this. Really shh, shh, turn at the waist. Shh, shh. And shh. almost there. Next, elbow directly in your shoulder. And here's your conventional side plank. If you need a modification, you're gonna bend that bottom knee back and come up on the knee, like so. We're gonna switch sides at 30 seconds, and you can add whatever challenge you would like to the side plank, okay? You can dip the hip, right? You can rotate if you want. You can take that top leg up and leave it right there. And we are switching sides. And here we go. Again, you can get the hip. You can do some rotations. You can take that leg up. You can hold it right there. Just a few ideas. Whatever you're doing, make sure that elbow is directly under the shoulder right here. And then we have a nice straight line from the shoulder to the hip, to the ankle here. Excellent, let's take a little break y'all. Quick little sip of water if you need it. And then we're getting on to round two. We're doing our deadlift with a clean and squat to start. Deadlift with a clean and squat. I'll face you guys this time since I was to the side last time, okay? We're ready. Three, two, one. Here we go. So here's your deadlift. Here's your clean. There's your squat. This feet should be wider than that for sure. Not for the deadlift, but for the squat. And since we don't want to waste time moving the feet around, we're just going to leave them there. Deadlift, clean, squat, up, let them down. 
deadlift. Ooh, deadlift. The clean comes with you as you're coming up. Down, clean it, squat. And it's down, clean it, squat. All right, coming down for that bear crawl. This way this time. So we're keeping the butt down, right? Look ahead, don't watch your feet. If you watch your feet, then you'll inevitably end up like this. And yes, that is one kind of bear crawl. But the kind that we do in this class really works every muscle, right? And in order to do that, we gotta keep the hips down low. We gotta keep the back nice and flat. It's like a moving plank, really. Feel free to go faster. If you want more of a challenge, 15 seconds left. Make sure your palms are flat. Don't be trying to do a bear crawl with your fingers like this. Gotta get that whole hand on the floor. All right, bringing it on up. We have our lunge with a kick. Lunge with a kick. All right, let's go. 90 degree knee, pick it up, pick it out. Hands are up. Swing that arm, swing that arm down when you kick, and then put it right back. Exhale on your kick. Up. Halfway there. I guess I'm a little distracted, you guys. I keep trying to throw a squat in there for some reason. Ten more seconds. Almost there. Excellent. We are grabbing our weights and we have our hammer curl to a press. Hammer curl to a press. Are we ready? Nope. Okay, let's go. Here we are. Curl it. Press it. Keeping that pelvis tucked in nice and tight. Controlling the weights. Not letting the weights control you. Remembering to breathe, of course. Don't let those weights pull you forward. Almost there. Excellent. We are coming down to the mat. For our straight leg sit up with a twist. And here we go. Reach for the feet. And bring it back down. Your chest is reaching for the feet. Make sure that when you go for that reach, you're not rounding the shoulders out like this, right? That's not what we're going for. Sit up nice and tall. Reach with the chest. And remember to turn that torso over like so. Ten 
three more seconds. Almost there. Right, let's get into our side plank. We're ready. Let's go. So here's your traditional side plank. You can put that foot in front like this for a little bit of modification, but if you need further modification, we're on the knee, on the bottom leg. 10 more seconds. Pushing through the shoulder, don't sink down into it. Switch sides. So be sure that you're here and not here, right? Pick up that head, push through the shoulder. Don't let that shoulder anywhere near this ear, okay? They don't belong together. They should stay really far apart. Add whatever challenge you'd like to this side plank. Almost there. All right, let's take a little break. Two rounds down, one to go. Okay. So we have six minutes left. And in that six minutes, I encourage you to really make it count if you can, if you have that in you. If you're struggling a little bit and you're not sure about finishing this out, then what I say to that is stay with me and slow down, okay? If you need to do half the number of reps that we've been doing or that you've been doing, then by all means, take it to that. If um, if you're just if you're just having a really difficult time and you're fatiguing, just go slower. It's that simple. Okay. All right, we're going for our deadlift, clean, squat. Deadlift, clean, squat. In three, two, one. Here we go. There's your deadlift, stripper butt, right? Clean it up. Give me a good squat. Bring it down. Stick that booty out. Clean it up. Give me a squat. And up. Remember, if you don't have weights, you're doing the hip hinge, and then you're doing the squat. I didn't do my clean properly there. Let's do it again. And here we go. Ten more seconds. Almost there. Keep that good form. Excellent. Bear crawls. Again, I really encourage you to do these, even if you hate them. <laughs> and if you really, really hate them, just go one, two, rest. Pick it back up. One, two, and rest. And then go right back to it. Don't forget to breathe. But keep that butt down, keep the head up. Push through those pecs. Don't step too far forward like this. That makes it more challenging than it actually needs to be. We're almost there. Bring it up. We're gonna lunge and kick. Lunge and kick. Let's see if I can do it without squatting this time. All right, here we go. Step back and lunge. Kick it. Set it down. It's the alternating that's messing me up. 
Hands are up. Take that arm down when you pick the leg up. And then put it right back. Big exhale. 90 degree knee. Remember, you gotta get that back heel off the floor in your reverse lunge in order to get that 90 degree knee. Almost there. Awesome. Grab your weights. We have our hammer curl. Press. Ready? Here we go. Curl it. Press it. And a little bit closer. Keeping those elbows in tight. Keeping the core engaged and the pelvis tucked in. We're not swinging those weights, we're staying in control. It can be really tempting when you get right here to just go, right, and then swing it back up. We want to be in control, we want to build muscle. And if that's your goal, then you're going to ease it up and you're going to ease it down. Ease it up and ease it down. All right, bringing it down to the mat. Straight leg sit up with a twist. And here we go. We reach for those feet. And you bring it back down. If you're using a dumbbell like I am, take it by the head. Get a little tricep action while we're down here. When you go for that twist, you should be leaning back about 45 degrees. If that's hard on your lower back, then you can sit up a little taller, right? Both are good options. You'll get a little more work in the further back you lean. 10 seconds. shoulder and here we go we have a nice perfect line shoulder hip knee ankle right so what I mean by that is make sure you're not like this okay push those hips forward right and your head too don't sink down into the shoulder like this don't drop the head make sure your head is neutral And switching sides. Last 30 seconds of work right here. And we hold it. Breathe it out. Push out of this shoulder. Don't sink down into it. Pick this hip up just a little bit more. Almost there. We are done for today, you guys. That's it. Thank you, thank you, thank you for joining me. It's awesome to be with y'all. Uh, we'll do it again at the same time tomorrow. Have a great Tuesday.